real quick in regards to subsurface scattering. Uh, so this is the default node, or the default material rather, in 2018. I figured that I could pump this up to something really high, subsurface of 80. But you can see that it does create quite a lot of noise. Um, if you go in here, there's really no setting uh, to uh, decrease that noise. And you might think that, oh, let's just go here, change the race, but it doesn't work, it doesn't help. And then you go like, uh, you know what I'll do? I'll change the anti-aliasing. And it still doesn't work. So why? Here is the reason. So let's just do uh, uh, render first. Actually, let's just hit L on the keyboard, do a limited region of this. Hit render. And if I zoom in on that, you can certainly see all the noise we got. So, what to do? What you should do here is none of these but this one. Set that to 10 for example. And fixed. So there you go. Uh, of course you can improve or enhance this um, by using uh, some noise filtering here, turning that on. Um, where is it? Um, I'm going to do a render first. So Then click noise filter options and yeah. Um, not sure if you can see that, but um, that's also an option to reduce noise. Uh, I said in another video that uh, the highest you, you could go would be like 0 0.2, but no, uh, it it really depends. You could go as high as 0 0.1 um, or even higher. It depends on your scene, but again, don't mess with these guys um, unless, well, <laughs> unless you want to uh, get into some really uh, time consuming tweaking. Uh, so I talked about that in another video, but just don't mess with this guy. Just keep this to three and uh, tweak this setting. But yeah, anyway, that's it for um, subsurface scattering, yeah, denoising that.